Hello, dear friends, and welcome. I am Vera Urubo. Again, this is just a very, very quick video as the Lord laid the word on my heart because I know that the, this word is for somebody out there. It's out of Isaiah 30, verse 15. It says, and I'm reading it out of the message translation. It says, God the Master, the Holy One of Israel, has this solemn counsel for you. <laughs> it said, God the master, the Holy One of Israel, has this very solemn counsel for you. So this is God's counsel to your life. What is he counseling you? He said, your salvation requires you to turn back to me and stop your silly efforts to save yourselves. Your strength will come from settling down in complete dependence on me, the very thing you've been unwilling to do. Oh my God. Now, there are so many people. Um, there is this place of rest that God has for you, but you have other plans. But your plans have not been working. You've tried, made a lot of efforts. Your efforts are not yielding results. And so what is God's counsel? He said, your salvation requires you to turn back to me turn back to me and stop your silly efforts to save yourselves you see how god describes some of your efforts eh? say they are silly efforts you've tried it this way you tried it this way when it comes to relationship you tried it your own way in no work god said why don't you stop all of those silly efforts he said your salvation depends requires that you turn back turn back now i want to ask have you strayed away from god are there things that have happened along the path and you are like i beg i'm tired of this god stuff i don't want all this god thing or maybe you bought into the ideology the philosophy of the age where it's like no god god said stop it eh? all those silly thoughts he said stop it your salvation requires that you turn back to me and stop your silly efforts to save yourself. He said, your strength will come from settling down in complete dependence on me. He said, that's where your strength will come from. You settle down in complete dependence on me. It's not this in and out of church thing that you are doing. It's not this one leg in and one leg out you are doing. He said, complete dependence total dependence in other words you are going to throw the whole of your life into god i remember in 1986 when i gave my life to jesus that's exactly what i did i just threw my life complete dependence i threw the whole weight of my human personality on him and i was like god the whole of my future is in your hands and i want to inform you that god not a disappoint that's just what it is he never ever disappoints. Now look at how he concluded this thing. He said, your strength will come from settling down in complete dependence on me. The very thing you have been unwilling to do. So I want to ask you, why? Why have you been unwilling to settle down with God? And yet God is coming again, asking me to ask you. Why are you finding it difficult to, to just throw the whole weight of your human personality on God? You know what it says? He said, trust in the Lord with all your hearts. Don't lean to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Stop running up and down. Stop going here and there. God has an awesome plan for you. And then even if you look at the next verse, it's also very awesome. He said, we will rush off on horseback. Then he now replied, you know, the people were saying, we will rush off on horseback. We don't want this God thing. He said, you will rush off all right, just not far enough. You said, we will rush, we will ride off on fast horses. Then the question is, do you think that your pursuers are riding old nags the people pursuing you your, your village people you think is a old 
dead animals they are riding the way you think you want to ride on on horses the only person who can keep you safe and secure is god he said your salvation depends on turning back to me i pray that god will create a new willingness in your heart to actually throw your life on god and you can do that first of all by just committing your heart to jesus and asking him to become the lord of your life if you've already done that you can go to him and say lord i'm tired of running here and there in and out just do whatever you will with my life and you'll be amazed that you will start what will become the beginning of a journey known as the rest of your life god bless you and i pray that the lord will help you to make the transition in jesus name thank you for watching today i just want to request that you subscribe to this channel subscribe please and like the video share it i'd like to um, read your comments as well god bless you i'll see you in my next video